hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video this is not like a first impression or anything like that just as a, as the title says it's it's about fragrances that i find to be sensual so what happened recently i've i noticed that i've been gravitating towards some some fragrances and and i i couldn't put them under a, an umbrella and like the uh, say a category or something like that generally i like i like vetiver i like green pine fragrances and i like other fragrances as well but i couldn't like put them under an umbrella so and uh, but but i i've noticed that i i have been gravitating towards fragrances that are sensual and what are, what are sensual fragrances i don't know I don't know how to explain that, but just that I know that they are sensual. That you, 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 when you smell those fragrances, you realize they are, they are not, they are not overly sweet. They are not, um, they don't fall under any of the other categories. Like they don't, they are not fresh. They are not uh, necessarily gourmand or green or any category. And like I, I couldn't put them in, in any of that. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, op, um, uh, the the g typical categories that would you would fry you would categorize fragrances under but i noticed that these fragrances sensually sensual is is, uh, is probably the right word to use for these fragrances and i will just show you the fragrances that i have in my collection that i think to be really sensual and i have like five to six fragrances uh I'll, I'll start with this one here. So this is a Bottega Veneta. This is not actually, this is like maybe a honorable mention or something like that. This is not necessarily a, a sensual fragrance or um, it, it's like it's like where green fragrances uh, meet sensual fragrances, that kind of category. It's, it's a bit green, but it has that, it has that sensual aspect as well. Uh, and it's very modern, it's, it's a, it's it's I, I don't know what category to put this. It is uh, categorized under leather, but I don't I don't get much of leather. I get, on the other hand, this this green kind of uh, scent, and I it's it's like one of my favorites, all time favorites. But I wouldn't call this a completely sensual fragrance. But it, it, it's like half green, half sensual. It's on the way. So let's have this as like a honorable mention or something like that. Okay, so let's let's go to the five fragrances that I find to be really sensual. The first one, the, uh, no particular order. So this is a uh, Dear Omo 2020. So it, it, it has this, it definitely has the sensual aspect to it. So it's very addictive. And I initially got this as a tester and then I tried it. I wore it to office one day and then I couldn't stop like, uh, you know, sniffing myself. What exactly is this? And then I realized, okay, it's Dear Omo 2020. And there's something about it. There's this this there's the sexual aspect, as I mentioned. It's not too sweet. It's not too fresh. It's not too. It's not too gourmand. It's not too green. Nothing. It, it has this right amount of sweetness to 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 classify uh, to be classified as a sensual fragrance. I guess. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I can say. I don't know. I will explain that. And the next fragrance is. Uh, as you, this this I think this everybody would agree that this is like a very sensual fragrance. This is like one of my favorite fragrances as well, and uh, it was like love at first uh, sniff. And it it has this beautiful sensual uh, sens sensual aspect about it. It 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 it, it makes you wanna uh, keep smelling whoever is wearing it, even yourself. Like it's just beautiful and the next fragrance is uh, Guerlain Olo Medial this I think this is this is the, the one fragrance that I would that I would put uh, in, 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 in if I I, I would never be able to classify this in any category I would just classify this as a sensual fragrance it is it it is such a it has it has this beautiful addictive nature about it i couldn't like um so to come up with this uh, understanding it took me a while because 
I never understood why I like this fragrance. This has this, as I said again, it, it, it is, it is, uh, this is Guerlain, of course. Guerlain is, uh, like, I remember uh, having this and Vetiver, both the fragrances, like, my fav some of my favorites in the in the collection that I have. So, it, it, again, it is probably uh, the most uh, sensual fragrance that I've uh, that I have in my collection. It is so beautiful. I don't even know how to explain this. What this this kind of what what it, so it, I I know it has almond. It has some cherry or plum or whatever. And I came to know from watching Garlan. This there's this video on YouTube uh, where uh, Jeremy Fragrance was its Garlan. Uh, uh, this thing, um, the, the, the production house or whatever. So the, the perfumer, I do, I forgot the name, Terry Vasa or some, I don't know, I forgot the name. So he mentions that this has a rose in it. I don't know if that is, uh, but it's not there in the note breakdown. If you go on Fragrantica, I don't think you'll find rose. But he mentioned that there's a rose in this fragrance, and I, I, I don't know if that is giving this scent to some. And it's sad that it, 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 it's discontinued. And I'm glad that I, I bought this. I was about to sell this, but I, 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 I didn't sell it, and I'm glad that I didn't sell it because initially I. When I bought it, I, I, I bought it because I liked it, but then the performance wasn't that good, so I thought I'll sell it. But the more I wear it now, the more addictive it it, 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 uh, it is to me, to my nose. And I don't have any other fragrance that smells like this. It has this subtle sweetness. It has everything that would make a, a, a fragrance sensual. The right amount of sweetness. I mean, it's it's just beautiful and uh, two more to go three done so this one this is uh, amouage uh, interlude black iris mm. this this is such a such a beautiful fragrance so even interlude uh, man is, is again uh, pretty much smells like this but i found that to be a bit uh, in your face compared to black iris and this has this beautiful sensual aspect just like what other fragrances i mentioned have that's the right amount of it it is that addictive nature about it that i believe uh, uh, is is common to all of these fragrances so all of these fragrances that i've uh, that i've shown so far they are all very addictive it's like it's not it's not the it's not the kind of uh, scent that I would get bored after wearing for some time right it you keep it, it, it the more you wear it the more you long for, for it the more you yearn and that that is uh, that's the beauty about these fragrances uh, so amouage interlude black iris hmm, probably wear this wow it's beautiful Okay, the final, this is my newest um, acquisition. This is um, a Latisan perfumer, Mandarina Corsica. So I tried a few fragrances uh, when I went to the mall uh, by Latisan perfumer and other brands as well. For some reason, I kept gravitating towards this particular fragrance. There's something about this fragrance, I believe the caramel, the mix of caramel and mandarin, uh, I believe there's stone cabina or whatnot, there's some sweet notes blended with some mandarin. And they've blended it so beautifully that it, it, it's not, it's, it is a citrus fragrance, but it has the sensual aspect about it, probably because of the caramel or the stone cabina or whatever. It's so addictive. And then, and, and this is, this is, Actually, I, I thought I would buy Timbuktu because that's the most popular from the brand. But for some reason, I kept gravitating towards this fragrance, which I've, I had not even heard of uh, up until that time. 
So I realized, okay, there's something in these fragrances that I probably like. And so there you go. I categorized these fragrances, the ones that I don't know why I like, and I, the ones that I couldn't fit in a particular umbrella. I'm calling it sensual fragrances. That's it. And and I believe this is probably my most favorite category of fragrances and I'll keep uh, looking for more fragrances that, that are sensual. I'll, I'll be buying some fragrances as well. So once this lockdown is over, we have a lockdown now in Sydney for two weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll have more fragrance to share with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.